I think this is the same guy. He called me every day. Hello? Hello? Do you, did you hear us about the topic today? Muhammad? Yeah. So what yeah, do you I think? think? What do you I think? think that, yeah? I think that some of your points uh, are correct. Some of them are incorrect. Which one is correct and which one is not correct? Go ahead. You are a Muslim, right? Yes, I am. Okay. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Okay. So, um, music, I believe that music is, is haram as found in the Bible also. In the, in the Bible, it says the music is haram. Can you show me? Musical instruments, yes. In the Bible, it says the musical instrument is haram. I can bring it up if you go ahead. A minute. Go ahead. Okay, give me one sec. Sorry. <clears throat> we want to learn from you. I found it. Let me just read it to make sure. Okay. <clears throat> so when it talks about humming, clapping, and other wordless um, melody noise making are also forbidden. Give me the verse so we can read together. Okay. I can give you tons of verses about singing and rejoicing for the Lord. Actually, we have a book, it's called the Book of Psalm. What is that? Do you know what Psalm means? The Book of Psalm? Yeah, <laughs> Ephesians 5, 19, 20. Okay, read it for us. That talks about no instruments. Okay, let me pull it up. Ephesians 5, 19, 20. Any, any particular version you want me to read? Or you just any read anything. anything, read anything you want. <laughs> okay. So speaking to one another with psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit, sing and make music from your heart, your Lord, always giving thanks to the Lord, the Father, to everything in the name of Jesus Christ. So this is forbidden the music? <laughs> yeah, it says that you can't do it. It says you cannot. Correct. No instruments. Where it, where it says you cannot do it? Let no one deceive you with empty words, for because of these things, the, the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience. Therefore, do not become partners with them, for at one time you were darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light, and try to discern what is pleasing to the Lord. Okay. And... Look carefully, then, how you walk, not as unwise, but wise, making the best use of time, because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. Okay. And where it says, where it says that the music instrument is bad. I'm trying to follow with you. And people in the chat are trying to follow with you too. <clears throat> um, well, I was reading this um, yeah. from a Christian website. It's, it's saying that there's no <laughs> My friend, I, I don't know what Christian website is that. But it says, uh, as, I, as I see it, I mean, if you, if you know how to read, as I see it, it says the opposite. Um, it says, praise the Lord with songs says, and instrument from your heart. I'm on seeing, seeing God, God yeah. breath. Yeah, okay. Uh, where, where, breath but where, where, my friend, I mean, you speak English better than me, obviously. How in the world you understood that this is against, not for. No, singing is allowed, but but instruments. Is where not where in the where in the verse it says you where it says instrument is not is not allowed there. I did not see it. It says right here. Where the New where? Testament commands con the New Testament commands congregations. Which verse you are reading from? From which one? I I know the book, but which verse to which verse? So to be sure that we are reading the same thing. Uh. Ephesians five nineteen Colossians okay. three sixteen. No, no. Uh, 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 just fo focus with one 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 at, the, one at a time. So the first one nineteen. And did you read eighteen? Did you read nineteen? Did you read twenty? Did you read twenty one? Or you are just quoting a verse from website? I'm on the website right now. Okay. See, this is the issue because if you read the whole thing, go to the first book you mentioned to me, and read it from. Uh, 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 
uh, uh, uh, verse number 15 or 16. But the, but the argument here is, is that it mentions singing, but but not playing instruments my friend, my friend, spiritual no. teaching. In fact, in fact, it says in like in chapter uh, verse number fifteen, uh, uh, be careful for your behaviors. Uh, don't be ignorant. Be wise. Uh, uh, like uh, like be the wise by doing opportunity to do the good things, and doing or knowing about what is wrong, what is evil. Don't be fooled. But understand the will of the Lord and don't be drunk by wine and etc., which is going to lead you to be uh, like uh, deceived and evil. But be obedient to the, to the Spirit and glorify and sing, a spiritual sing between each other. But that's without instruments. No, how you can sing? You can sing as you wish. My friend. We have a book in Arabic. It's called Al Mazamir. What Al Mazamir? What is a what is the book uh, uh, in English? Mazamir is a mizmor. You know, mizmor. Mizmor is a musical instrument. You know. So all the Bible is speaking about glorifying the Lord with songs and uh, 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 musical instrument and all kind of things because those are a gift from the Lord. Human being, he feel special feeling for music. It's a gift from God. It's not something you create. It's not coming to you from from the devil. Well, from so my understanding, all the Bible, all the Bible. We have okay. Have you ever heard of a, a book of called the Book of Song of Songs? Songs of Solomon. The songs, yeah. Okay, so why it's called songs if the music is forbidden? But also the Quran is is, is no you cannot no you recited. cannot say no my, my friend you see here we go first reciting the Quran the way you are doing it have nothing to do with Muhammad this is Muhammad later when he did learn about the Saja you know the Saja no okay if we go in the Hadith we will find that Muhammad he learned something called Saja al Quran and Muhammad later he forbid anyone to practice it because this is what Muhammad he did his Quran. He was practicing Sajjah, which is the same as Rab. But Muhammad, he have a very bad Rab. So when somebody speak words in certain way, that is called Sajjah. And Muhammad, he heard that. Look what it says here in front of us in the Hadith. And this is Sahih Muslim. About people who speak a very eloquent language. Eloquent language. What eloquent language mean? language which is really attractive like he have a skills correct um, okay I'm listening. do your god have eloquent language or he don't know how to talk the arabic is very eloquent exactly that's what you are saying not my words not for me but i will go with you but the quran says that the one who speak with eloquent language is shaitan remember you are the one a second ago what, sorry? you said that the Quran Allah he speak very eloquent Arabic everybody heard you correct well yeah because they, they brought literature poets okay uh, chapter 6 exactly excited. chapter 6 verse 112 speak about eloquent language Muhammad he was trying to copy the eloquent language of the devil and this is what he is saying in front of you and we have appointed to every prophet enemies shayateen among mankind and jinn inspiring one another with adorned speech do you see it yeah i'm reading so shaitan shaitan is very skilled in the language do we agree with the quran or you don't agree with the quran I'm 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 not sure if we're reading the same ver the verse. I chapter have six, so chapter is, six, chapter six, verse one twelve. Yeah, I'll read mine and just tell me if it's the same as yours. And mm -hmm. so it is that every against every prophet we have set up the evil one from among men and jinn. Some of them inspire others with uh, speech as speech, only by the way of delusion. Had mm -hmm. it been your Lord's will. 
they would not have done it. Leave them alone to fabricate what they will. Okay. What kind of speech it is? Um, I don't know how to pronounce the word. Spe uh, specious? I don't know what translation. You know how to pronounce the word? In Arabic, it says Zuhruf. Zuhruf is decorated. Very beautiful. Right. Okay. So the Quran says, the one who speak eloquent language is the devil. And that will bring delusion. So how the Muslim, they say to us that one of the well, amazing things about the Quran, that it's speaking eloquent language, and the same book saying that the one who speak the eloquent language is just to deceive you. So is Allah well, witnessing to, to Allah? You. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt you. Uh, specious, I looked on Google, means superficially plausible, but actually wrong. That's what the word means. Speeches. This is a translation, my friend. In Arabic, it is Zuhrof. Zuhrof is decorated, beautiful, eloquent. I don't know what translation you are reading. What translation you are reading? Um, Tafhim ul Quran, Surah uh, 6. I, don't I, know. I never heard of this Tafhim ul Quran. This is not a translation, then. Give me a translation. What translation do you want me to open for you? This is Hilali Khan. I can, I can go to Yusuf Ali. Do you know Yusuf Ali? What what yeah. translation you want? What translation? Give me a translation. I will go to. Any 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 is good. Okay, you said. Quran dot com now. So we uh, can... all right, you said you said you you Yusuf Ali. Right here it says. Okay. okay. Uh, they inspire each other with flowery discourses. Flowery discourses. This is the translation. This is Yusuf Ali. Let's get a different translation. Uh, let us see. Uh, I have one. I have one here. Wh which one? Um, Shakir. Let us see Shakir. Let us see Shakir. Shakir, he said, uh, uh, Shaitan from among men and jinn, suggesting to other varnished falsehood. Varnished. What varnished mean? Decorated. The you know. What's the word? Varnished. I mean, you Muslim translation is very weird. I don't know, but uh, in Arabic, for me, Arabic is my first language. Zuhrof is decorated, beautiful, eloquent. It's something very high quality, you know. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what he's using here, but in, uh, even I think the translation is very false because it's it doesn't even say what I am seeing in Arabic. Let us Doctor, see a different one. Big Tal. Yeah. Big Tal. Uh, speak plausible. I don't know what. I, I don't know even how to say it's this plausible. word. Plausible. Yeah. Plausible. What does plausible mean? So it's like their 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 speech. They act like it's 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 it, it, they act like it's something good, but it's really not. Like they're just talking, but they're they're making up stuff. Okay, but it is it. But it's appealing lang language, right? Statement. Um, yeah, it's basically saying like that that the this, this, this shaitan will um, basically speak like all decorated and fancy. I mean, okay, I get so what this, you're saying. okay, this is exactly what I'm saying. So language, okay. language, appealing language, eloquent language is a proof in the Quran that this is satanic. Now, the Muslim when they speak to them, they say to us the Quran have eloquent language. But when we, if you know Arabic, you will find that the Quran cannot be even, even considered as an eloquent language because it's really weird and you know any language cannot explain itself it's not even a language uh, as an example if I say to you now Jesus said love your enemy and then in order to understand that you have to read one million interpretation to understand a simple sentence so how this is an eloquent language this is not eloquent language no more the most eloquent nice language is the one can be understood by anyone who receive it because simply God want to teach everybody that Allah made the Quran uh, for the educated ones who have a PhD in Arabic or everybody. Well, the, the Quran was the to it set the tone of Arabic, proper Arabic in, in the times and even till today. OK, when I visited. When I visited Saudi Arabia, yeah, even the Quran Ar like you speak Quran Arabic is different from Saudi Arabic. Or so how Egyptian so Arabic so how or, the Saudi so how the Saudi will understand the Quran if it's different? 
Well, because it's the proper, it's the academic Arabic. It's not academic because now the, the Muslim, they forced the Quran language on everyone they occupy. It became the official language. Otherwise, as you know, even your prophet, he said, my people, they speak seven languages, which mean seven dialect, seven ahruf. So Allah, he sent you seven Quran. Which one of them is the Muslim they follow? Seven Qurans. Yes, isn't it uh, your prophet, he said to his God, that one Quran is not enough? He kept asking for one more, one more, until they become seven? Do you have a citation on that? Yeah, this is the hate in front of you. Each time the angel come, prophet of Islam ask him, saying that my people are not capable. Not capable about what? Understanding, following. So Allah, he gave him a second Quran in different Arabic. Muhammad, he complained that this is not enough. My people are not strong enough to do it. They don't have the strength and the ability to understand it. Allah gave him the third Quran. Muhammad complained again. He gave him the fourth. Muhammad complained again. He gave him the fifth, the sixth, until the are seven Quran. So now we have seven Quran. Still the Muslim can't understand the Quran. Is that that's seven seven dialects, correct? Well, isn't it seven dialect means seven languages? Because if the same language, then there's no need for seven. Let me no, let, it's not let us make it simple. Going. You said to me when you went to Saudi Arabia, you said that the Quran today is the academic language. Is that correct? Yeah. Does that mean everybody understand it? Um no, I would say people who've studied it. So what, what academic mean? Academic mean the highest level of okay. So, but is it, is, is it enough to understand the Quran? Is it enough to understand it? Um, I would say ex you have to, you have to. It starts with nafs with the intent. Uh, sorry, it starts with the uh, intention, and then it's followed up by execution. No problem. But is that language? I'm talking about the language now. We have the Quran, okay. the one you have in your hand now. Mm -hmm. Is it alone enough to understand the Quran? Yeah, the Quran is is by itself a separate, complete like it's sta it's a standalone. Okay. The Hadith has additional commentary. All right. Thank you very much. So why your prophet saying that he need more? He need seven. If that one one copy is enough. If one dialect, because now you have it in one dialect, the one between your hand now is the dialect of Quraysh. If then one is enough, then the Hadith here proving the opposite, and Muhammad is not being honest. Well, it says not not differing about what is permitted and what is prohibited. It doesn't matter. You said to me that it's only one language is enough. And the one you have is the language of Quraysh, the dialect of Quraysh. So we do not need the rest. As long as you said one is enough and you confirm that a second ago, then the rest of the seven, the seven, all of them, there are seven. So there is six more are not needed. So why Muhammad keep asking for more? if one Quran is capable of doing the job. And in the same time, when Allah, he wrote the Quran, do he knew that this Quran is not enough? Why Muhammad is correcting his God? If Allah sent one Quran, do Allah knew that what he wrote is not good enough to explain to his people? Obviously he don't. What, what does, what does muta watir mean? Muta, muta, like you know, many uh, many people reported it. You know, oh, because I'm read I'm reading online about it, and it's talking about the majority of my, scholars of recitation. My friend, it says sahih. It says sahih. Here we go, sahih, sahih. So don't waste your time. It is sahih. No, no, I'm I'm I'm, lo I'm looking up. I'm looking up what the because I actually don't know what the seven modes are, but I'm looking up from an Islamic website. No problem. You see, this is this, this is your problem. You know, you try to answer reading an article, but how you can trust the article? You try to use your brain, and you no problem. You can search as much you want, but this is what your prophet said. And remember, you said to me the Quran alone is enough. Now Muhammad is speaking. Obviously, is not enough. You have to go to a Muslim website, and the Muslims they will tell you what they understand, and you took what they understand, not what you understand. Why this is not enough alone for you to make decision? We have the Quran, we have the Hadith. Affect... Sorry, to interrupt. Listen, we have the Quran and we have the Hadith. That article is written today, right? This is now. Now, this is not from the time of Muhammad. So Muhammad said something. Allah said something. 
Shouldn't that be enough for you to make a decision as a Muslim? Obviously not. You have to go and see what those people saying, even though they have no qualification, except reading like what you are reading. Because this is what they have. All what they have in front of them is what it says here. So whatever conclusion they have should not be better than your conclusion. Muhammad is well, asking for more versions of the Quran. If one version is enough, then there's no need for the second, no need for the third. My, my, my response to that would be that um, I'm a revert from Christianity, so my... Uh, I, I don't... I, I, okay, when you say my, revert, what does that mean? What revert mean? Well, can, can I finish my answer to the other thing? I'll, I'll answer this, but um, okay. my, my, my answer is that um, whatever, that's like a backstory, but but whatever these seven modes are, that these are scholars who have understood that I'm still I'm still navigating my way around around the religion, and it's honestly changed my life for the better. But um, it doesn't affect my belief. No, it's fact. It's fact, my friend. It's fact. Actually, this this hadith here destroy all your belief, and I will show you why. Because I wrote four books. And if I need to write another, another six books to, to explain the first book, that means I have a big failure to explain myself in the first book. Do you agree with me? Can you, can you give an example of two different modes from the Quran that, that would be different? I will give you an example, but focus with me with the, what I'm saying. Why, sure. Allah, why Allah need to rewrite his book in seven dialect if... He is God and he is capable to give us the best language to understand. The Quran says Allah never sent a messenger except in the tongue of the people, which means he have to be from the people and he have to speak their tongue. Correct? Why? Because in order to understand, the Quran says so. So now we understand which is very logical, by the way. I like this verse. I'm not against it, you know. Uh, but it doesn't match with Islam. Why? Because, well, how Muhammad will be a prophet for you and you don't speak Arabic. And we never send, chapter 14, verse number 4, we never send a messenger save with the language of his fault that he make the message, between bracket clear for them. Wonderful. So Allah, he wrote, the Arabic Quran and the Arabic is a language spoken by all the Arab. So different dialect does not make any difference anyway. I mean, what a big deal. Why you want to have different dialect? One language is one dialect is enough. They understand each other. But Muhammad, he insists that he needed seven dialect in order his people to be able to be Muslims. Now, if Allah could not make the Arab understand what he is saying until he wrote seven Quran in their language, seven Arabic uh, Quran, to make them understand how Allah will make you the Quran, understand the Quran by somebody translating to English. Go ahead. So my response to that, I have, I have two responses. My first response would be um, from, from me understanding what we're talking about. It's, it's about the recitation of the Quran, not the dial, not the changing of the words. Secondly, you, the same argument can be made for Christianity because there's a hundred different Bibles that have all different words, and that's supposedly the living, breathing word of God. So it, it would be the same for both, correct? No, I will tell you why. Because it's not in Christianity it says that we send you the language in your tongue in order to understand. This is in your book, and this is a condition made by Allah. This is number one. Number two, if you are talking about translation, will all of you right now, you yourself, you are reading translation. But the Quran is the one said, you will not be able to understand unless the messenger, he speak your tongue. It's not my book saying that, it's your book. And I said to you, I like this verse. Why? Because this verse proves Islam to be false. Because Muhammad cannot be a prophet for mankind unless he speak the language of all mankind. And then Allah, he have to give Quran in every language. And then if we go back to the Hadith, Muhammad, he insists that seven Quran in the same language is still not enough to make the Muslims understand. So how seven Quran in the same, seven, same language is not enough to make you understand? And yet, 
a person from Pakistan will understand, a person from India will understand, a person from the West, from the East will understand. If the Quran in seven Arabic, written by Allah, not translation, still the Muslim don't understand. That is mean, that mean that Allah is disabled and he is not capable of explaining himself to the point he need to read rewrite his book seven times. Now, you said it is just different dialect. I say no. Obviously, you do not know your religion, my friend. If you go in the Quran as an example, not limited. The Quran, I will show you a verse and you tell me what it's mean. The sun run to its fixed course. What chapter and verse are you reading? Uh, give me a second, please. Chapter 36. Verse number? Verse number 38. Okay. Okay. Give me your understanding for this verse. <clears throat> Okay. The sun travels for its fixed term. That is the, the design of the Almighty All-Knowing. Okay. Does, um, this, does it say fixed okay. terms or no fixed terms? The sun travels for its fixed term. So it's fixed. Right. So it should not say in the other Quran, does not have a fixed terms, right? If one it says fixed terms, then other verses should not say the opposite in a different Quran. If we go to the Quran of Ibn Mas'ud, and let us go there, let me open it. I will open actually uh, Tafsir Ibn Kathir. You can try it from your side. Chapter chapter 36, verse number 38. Ibn Kathir. Ibn Mas'ud. Open Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir. Ibn chapter, Kathir. chapter 36, verse number 38. Tafsir, right? Yeah. And I will, uh, I'm, I'm just putting it in the screen. Here we go. This is Ibn Kathir. This is your Muslim website, not mine. Kathir, okay. And now we will see the same verse in your books. Here it says, This is the verse which you said it's run in its fixed course. Perfect, wonderful. But if you go down, we will find it says, La laha. And this is the Quran of Abi, Ibn Mas'ud. Read with me. And the sun runs with no fixed course for a term. I'm showing it to you on the screen. I don't know if you see my screen. Do you see it? Yeah, I'm, I'm pushing the thing forward so I can see. Uh, it was reported. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. And the sun runs, meaning that it has no destination. But do you see? It's the opposite, yeah, right? It's the opposite. This is not the dialect. Well, well it says it in Arabic. I, I don't... In Arabic, it says, in Arabic, let me show you in Arabic. Hold on, sorry. In Arabic, it says, In the other verse, says, Which means two. Here, la, la mean not. Which means totally the opposite of the Quran of Hafs. The one you are reading right now, the most popular one, is the Quran of Hafs, which is not really what your prophet said. It is a recitation made by someone 200 years after Muhammad. So now which one is correct? Because now we have opposite. And this is one of many examples. It cannot be both the correct. One says the sun run to its fixed course. The other one says, and the sun does not run to its fixed course. And here you will see that when the Muslim, they say the Quran is preserved, that is a big joke. Because this is not a preservation. This is nothing but confusion and madness. But there's no way God, he says the same thing about the same object, two opposite things. Um, okay.